Regenerative agriculture is a form of agriculture that puts biodiversity and soil health at the forefront and is working to reverse the climate crisis to the best of our abilities through agriculture. The way farming exists now with industrial agriculture being our primary producer for the population of the whole world is that there's very few companies that own food production. Some of the issues that I see with our current food system is how commercialized it is. Everything has to be done in, in mass volume. And anytime you have mass volume, you're looking at other issues of health, of medications for, for animals to keep them healthy. There's so many different issues that come to mind. Unsustainable production or the amount of food waste that's produced yearly or the unequal access to healthy, nutritious food and the unequal distribution of it as well. But one more focused issue that comes to mind is the lack of transparency in our food system. I think the fundamental issue is that it's not a natural system. And so, you know, the way we grow food globally now relies on this constant intervention from people to provide fertility to the soil and pesticides, synthetic fertilizers, and then that in turn depletes the soil, has, you know, catastrophic ecological implications for waterways, surrounding ecosystem, biodiversity, the health of the plants, and is also contributing to greenhouse gas emission, climate change. I think there's things that we can learn from industrial agriculture, but it definitely is not the way of the future and it's not going to sustain the earth the way it is now. So regenerative agriculture is not a new idea. It has been practiced in indigenous food systems throughout history, throughout the world, since time immemorial. And it really is an understanding of the fact that everything is related, so ecosystem health, the health of the water, the soil, the people, uh, and their food are all connected. Regenerative agriculture is trying to farm in a way that is beneficial to humans and plants and animals and all of the, the whole ecosystem because we recognize the value of it. I think a big component of regenerative agriculture is taking good care of your soil. I like to think about the way soil is formed and the biological cycles that form soil and animals play a major role in soil production. When I grow on my eight acres, I want all my fertilizers to come from whether it came from my pigs or my few cows or, you know, I let things age after I clean my chicken coops. So I know what I'm putting back into that soil. In a natural system, animals are around, they're peeing, they're pooping, they're dying, they're giving birth, and all of that is part of a natural fertility system. The one of the ways you're doing that is through principles of rotational grazing, where we let the animals um, graze a certain small section of land for just a short period of time, and then we get to move it on and let the land recover. So the, a lot of the grass is actually adapted to being grazed in that sort of way. And when they get grazed like that, they just say really gives it a, a shock to the system and it starts to grow rapidly again afterward. For us, we are intensely cover crop, so anytime that there isn't a vegetable crop growing, because we are a mixed organic vegetable farm, we make sure it's covered with some kind of cover crop, which includes usually field peas, some kind of grass, either wheat or rye or triticale, which is a cross, and vetch. And all of those things are providing extra organic matter to the soil and they're also fixing nitrogen into the soil so that we don't have to supplement with outside fertilizer so much. It's a really important component of regenerative agriculture. I think what engages us in regenerative agriculture is having no end goal. I think in 50 years we're going to have new environmental 
challenges. We're going to have new challenges on the land. There's going to be new goals, etc. So I think it's also the acceptance of you're working in a fluid system with moving goals and you're working with nature at every single step. It requires a lot of patience, a lot of time, and a lot of acceptance of not having full control. I'm not trying to feed the world, but I've got eight acres. So if I plant or grow, feed, harvest, I want everything to be done with what I have on my eight acres. The other thing is that these methods that we are talking about help to create sustainable, resilient food production. The soil is more able to adapt to climate extremes, to heat domes, to uh, drought, flooding, um, having a diversity of plant species, having mechanisms that really focus on ensuring that the health of the soil is um, respected and improved as we continue to grow food. And so if we want to be eating long term, growing food sustainably is really critical to the future. I think the the best way for consumers to support regenerative agriculture is to find out what farms are doing regenerative agriculture in their area and to be in touch with them because that's a really important factor we believe besides growing the food is people understanding how the food is grown and what it takes and what a regenerative farm looks like. Food security is sort of like twofold so there is this idea of creating a sustainable food system where our food is grown sustainably and we are supporting that. And then also recognizing that food security is also about how much people can afford and you know having access to healthy, nutrient-dense, culturally relevant foods. And so anything that we say, we preface with the fact that like people need to can only do what they can do. And so I think one of the biggest things people can do is to just become a bit more aware of the food systems that sustain us. So one of the things that I really love to see if people are able to is to, is to shop from their local farmers and their, lo their local farmers markets and chat with your farmers about how they're growing their food. You know, when you're talking about regenerative agriculture, it's a different type of food system. We're not trying to feed the world. We're not trying to ship overseas. We're just trying to feed our local community, our people, our, our local region. So it's that kind of thing that, you know, makes us proud to, to shop local and to farm the way we do. Regenerative agriculture goes beyond using land for just a production purpose. It involves land care, people care, crop care, nature care, biodiversity care, neighborhood care. And I think it's also doing the best we can to mitigate and reverse the climate crisis through agriculture practices. 